All right, we're back. We're going to ask this question again. Son of a Can bitch. you describe your relationship with Evelyn? I, I barely knew Evelyn. Well, that's a lie. Keep lying it's to not me that. Let's be a lie. In front of a grand jury before your feet touch the ground. I had a feeling it might be How this, but I thought it would be too much of a stretch. And I... Yeah. And I kind of instantly forgot about it, but there. Oh. How come this is so hard to believe. A man and a woman getting along, liking each other, just as friends. Okay, well, never mind then. There you go. It didn't work out anyway. I, I don't have anything else to go with, so I'm off to accept that. Fine. Aristotle's Metaphysics, the book that belonged to McCaffrey. McCaffrey saw her looking at her once and laughed in her face. And you're saying Evelyn stole it. She wanted something of his. <laughs> I kind of said that nervously, but... Now you're very stoic, and it's kind of confusing. Wasn't it inscribed by him? Didn't he say something like her name on it? Mm. You hate McCaffrey. You're trying to frame him for this. You've got the wrong guy! How can you prove that? Uh... Thanks. What? Pizza Al Forno? Free home delivery. Well, where'd you find it? Cool. Is it new? It's a, did you say it's a new place? Oh. Cool. Sure. Okay, uh, sorry, we're back, um, let's see, it was inscribed, oh, it was inscribed Grosvenor McCaffrey on it, but I didn't say anything about Evelyn, did it, so it doesn't necessarily mean, sorry, my mistake, mm. it doesn't necessarily mean she didn't steal it, okay. Aristotle's Metaphysics, the book that belonged to McCaffrey. McCaffrey saw her looking at her once and laughed in her face and you're saying evelyn stole it she wanted something of his what it, it feels like you're you're bullshitting me somehow but like you're looking at me very kind of honestly now you and evelyn okay, were drinking first. together last night and she had no other place to stay i don't know what happened last night i, I don't remember No, you seem shifty. You're I think you do remember it. something. You've been fighting with her. You fought, and... I'm not lying! She got up and left! That was it! Maybe this guy's just crazy. Maybe he's telling the truth in a way. I don't know. I don't even remember how he... I thought of Tiernan. How did we find Tiernan again? <laughs> Who's this guy? I forget. <laughs> Sorry. Sometimes you have to shake the tree to see what falls out. Should we... I'm gonna see if I can try to at least remind myself. Let me see. Uh, Tiernan. Oh, is Tiernan the guy we found at the bowling alley? Okay. I see now. Wait, did we do lie already? Okay. And. You don't ask, you never find out. Can you bring me the flowers? How do we find him again, though? Oh, oh. Movie lot. No. Uh. Oh, does this work here? Hmm. I don't 
think so. Uh, found in possession. It's nothing personal. I'm this guy's confusing me. This guy's really really confusing me. I don't know what to think. Do you own a car, Tiernan? No, I don't. Hmm. Have access to a lug wrench? No, we use a lot of them. To clear jams in the pin setting machines. Oh my god, this guy. Do you own a car, Tiernan? No, I don't. Hmm. Have access to a lug wrench? No, we use a lot of them. To clear jams in the pin setting machines. Uh huh. I want the truth. I think you broke into McCaffrey's apartment and planted a lug wrench there. I didn't do that. And there's no way you can prove any different. Nope, I don't think there is. Um... Oh You're my off god, the okay. For now. Doubt. Doubt! Coroner's report cool. says that Evelyn was killed with a wrench. I think you did it and then planted the evidence at McCaffrey's apartment for us to find. We went to his apartment. McCaffrey was up on the roof. Evelyn stole the book. <laughs> McCaffrey went crazy when he found out. He said, he said he would put her out of her misery. He can be very cruel. Huh. Wait, so... The hamper was up on the roof. Huh. That's weird. Said he would kill her just for stealing his book? Jesus. I think he was really passionate about his books, apparently. Um. Hmm. You and Evelyn were drinking together last night, and she had no other place to stay. I don't know what happened last night. I, I don't remember. You don't give me uh, some reason to think differently about this, Tiernan. I'm going to have to go to the DA. I drank half a bottle of scotch. I don't remember a goddamn thing. I actually had a feeling it was telling the truth there because of his final expressions, but... And when I saw that again, I was actually doubt. I was actually regretting... I was actually like, oh shit, am I really going to press 2? And then I pressed 2. <laughs> oh god, I hate this one. No, I remember go. this. We both want the truth here. This really, this one really screwed me over. Uh, can I not? Oh, I can't back out of it yet. Okay. Uh, god damn it! Aristotle's Metaphysics, the book that belonged to McCaffrey. McCaffrey saw her looking at it once and laughed in her face. And you're saying Evelyn stole it? She wanted something of his. Uh huh. You're, you're really Aristotle's fucking bothering me, you know that. The book that belonged to McCaffrey. McCaffrey saw her looking at it once and laughed in her face. Yeah, can we just get past this? I hate this. It. It's part she, of the memory. She wanted something of his. She wanted something of his. God, I'm not gonna ask the community. I'll deal with what I get. We either hang this on you or McCaffrey. You better give us something. Well, McCaffrey's been in trouble with the law before. I mean, he always makes out it was some kind of labor dispute. But you know, I'm, I'm not so sure. Hmm. Evelyn was missing okay, a ring from her right hand. That's strange. She always wore it. Uh. -uh. Oh yeah, you barely knew her, right? A disc with a white e in the middle. It was made from an old typewriter key, present from the prop department at her old movie studio. Uh, okay. We're going to talk to McCaffrey. You need to think about what you told us, Tiernan. You're not in the clear. No, you're not. Haha. <laughs> I said so myself. And I'm the best. All right, so that didn't go particularly well, but maybe this one will. You ready to answer some Hopefully questions? I don't fuck up. You think I have all the answers? People who run. By the way, if you heard my. Usually have something to hide. Touche, detective. Let's see where this takes us. 
But if if you heard my voice like weird muffled before any point or something or heard any chewing, I'm, I'm I was eating pizza. Sorry about that. <laughs> I still am, but I'll, I think I'll hold it for now until I'm done with this. Let's see. What was your relationship with the victim? You told us you barely knew Evelyn Summers. She hung around sometimes. I had very little to do with her. Uh huh. You have to do better than that, Grovner. We know about you and Evelyn. Evelyn was a lush and a boring one at that. You can't link her to me. Uh, yeah, I can. You had her book, or she had your book, sorry. Oh, wait, no, this. Right. Or this, I think that works too, but... Anyway, this is probably better. Seems there's a serious gulf between what you think you know and what you actually do, detective. Uh... Seriously? Oh, no, 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 that's fine, that's fine. No, 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 that's fine. That's totally normal that you just have a half of her letter, half of a letter made towards her in your apartment. Yeah, that totally doesn't mean anything. That totally couldn't link in at you in any way possible. No, totally not. Not even. You guys not got somewhere you need to <laughs> Why would I even consider that it's stupid? Ruining the ambiance. <laughs> I mean, God, really? How dumb is that? Evelyn died sometime in route. <sighs> Remind me, where were you? I was at home, writing. I'm working on a manuscript. Didn't we already disprove that? I'm pretty sure we already disproved that, didn't we? You're lying, McCaffrey. You were out at the rail yard. And what do you have that proves I was there? Uh, is that really going to be the torn letter now? We found the torn letter. Oh, God, I don't know. This game is confusing me. Okay, it wouldn't be that. Uh, not really that. It could be this. Am I really going this route again? I mean, it was torn, and one half was left at the other fucking place, at the rail yard. Game, I swear to God. How about half of a That's right. Last fucking stupid bitch. Why are you fucking with that bullshit what are you again? Talking about? After you were done beating Evelyn, you searched her and found her mother's letter. That old lady's anguish amused you. I know nothing about a letter or Evelyn's goddamn mother. Well, then why was it in your apartment? That's right. So what was it doing on your writing desk? Aha. I don't know, but if I didn't put it there, somebody else did. Try exercising mm, you seem kind of guilty about that. deduction on that. Uh, you're bullshit. <laughs> I don't think I really have to, honestly. The evidence is kind of against you, dude. We found the lug wrench that Evelyn was battered with in your apartment. And the note from her mother, and your bloodstained clothing. We have you cold, McCaffrey. You think if I could be bothered to murder Evelyn Summers, I would be stupid enough to leave the evidence in my apartment? Uh. Wow, you're smug about it. Uh, no, I don't. I don't think. Well, actually, yeah, I would, because you're stupid. But I don't think I. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't think you're the one who did it, but I don't think truth would work because you're being a smug bitch about it, it looks like, so. I don't believe you, Grovner. The evidence says that you killed her. You can prove that I wanted to kill Evelyn? Uh, oh, I can. Tiernan is prepared to testify that you threatened Evelyn's life in his presence. Self-preservation. That's understandable. <laughs> okay. Oh, really? I'll level with you. Tiernan killed Evelyn. He came to me for help. I listened oh. to him, and he explained why he did it. Tiernan went to you for help. You expect me to buy that? That's how it went down. I told him he made a terrible mistake, but he would be throwing his life away if he went to the cops. I took his things and told mm. him I would dispose of them. But you that did. still makes you culpable. Speak to Tiernan. He'll give it up. That still makes you culpable to it's some extent. Be you or Tiernan, Grovner. 
Make it stick, detective. The party has good lawyers. What party? God Wait, what party are we talking about? Okay, let's go talk to this tier and bitch again. Maybe I can make up for before. Oh. What? I have to use the phone now. Putting you through now. Phelps, Phelps badge 1247. Who called it? How can I help, detective? I need the jacket on a Grosvenor McCaffrey. Just a moment, oh. detective. McCaffrey was formerly under surveillance by the Red Squad. Conviction for petty theft. Dishonorable discharge from the army during training at Syracuse. Assault on a local woman. Says he almost Ooh. beat the woman to death. Thanks for your help. Damn. We got a lot of shit on you, buddy. All right, tier nine. Let's go talk to your bitch ass first, though. You spoken to McCaffrey? I can go. It's all been cleared up. Not quite. We have one more question we need to ask, James. Just then one I more. Think we will be done. Sure. Go ahead. Okay. So Evelyn passed out, and you walked out. What happened next? I woke up in the morning, very hungover. I thought Evelyn would have come back. Why do you seem kind of guilty about that? Let me try so that again. Evelyn passed out, and you walked out. What happened next? I woke up oh. in the morning, very hungover. Uh huh. I thought Evelyn would have come back. So you seem kind of shifty about the hungover part, but the Evelyn coming back part, you just seem like a little bit more nervous. But sort of like you really genuinely mean it. But I don't. Obviously, this can't be truth. Is it lie though? I know you're lying, James. You went out looking for her. Tell me what really happened. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> really? How, how can you say I wasn't in that hotel room? I don't know. We never even went to the hotel. To any hotel room. I don't. I don't know how the fuck I could say any of that. You really think I'm gonna squeal? Uh. Wait, so. Well, McCaffrey, does this count? You wound up at McCaffrey's. You were still incredibly drunk. You passed out on his floor. It's time to tell me what really happened. Oh. Oh. Oh, McCaffrey no. McCaffrey woke me up the next morning. And he showed me the lug wrench and the letter and the box. And he said I came in with him last night. Oh. He said that I killed Evelyn. And that it was all over the radio. And that he would protect me. Oh, wow. And I don't know if the detective's gonna lie to me. I can't remember a goddamn thing. And I was angry with her. Really angry. I could have done it. Oh. Oh, no. It wasn't me. Yikes. Hold on, we're not done here yet. Wait here. Yeah, we're not done here yet, buddy. Gotta go talk to this bitch ass first. Better not do that stupid glitch on me again. I swear to God. You were in Come the military war? service. Yes, I was. Seeing the things that I saw. It changes <laughs> a man. Oh man, you're so poetic. I came back here determined to change things. Uh -huh. All I wanted was a pen and an opportunity to speak out. You told us before that you had only minor run-ins with the police. You didn't mention petty theft. I've never been in trouble for violence. That's the salient point here, isn't it? <laughs> Dude, if we, if we found out about petty theft, do you think we wouldn't have found out about... Towards women. Yeah, you think we wouldn't have found out about that, too? Tickets in a petty theft misdemeanor. Really, dude? Like, charge. if I looked you up and I found out about petty theft, do you think I wouldn't find out about the assault, too? Like, really? 
We know all about you and your dishonorable discharge. Beating some poor woman near to death in Syracuse. You've never been in combat, McCaffrey. Your whole life is a fraud. She was a goddamn pimp. You're a fraud. Whoa. She didn't steal from my wallet. I could have fought for this country. I could have. You beat her because she stole from you. Because she tried to outsmart you. The ignorant audacity of the bitch. What is a man supposed to do? Sit there and take it? How is a man supposed to call himself a man? And Evelyn Summers, a poor, drunken nobody, stole your book. And she got what was coming to her! Whoa. Oh, jeez. Alright, dude, I'm charging you. I mean, if anybody here, you seem really culpable, because you're really angry. Not only that, the other guy seems innocent. And it seems like, even if he did do it, he's totally, like, out of his mind, like, doped. Dupe, he was totally duped. I think you did it. I mean, if anything, you did it. And, uh... You, you did it, and, and then you framed him. And came up with this whole coddling story of, like, how you're gonna help him. So try to pin it on him. Although, honestly, based on how things are going, I don't think either of you did it, but, you know... Governor McCaffrey, <laughs> I'm charging you with the murder of Evelyn Summers. She was a sad lady who never hurt anyone except herself. I hope God finds a way to forgive you. I don't think there is a God to forgive. Congratulations, boys. You bagged the fine catch. Another red to boot. Grand. Now, I want you to put this business about a repeat offender out of your mind. This nope. McCaffrey creature shows no remorse. I'm still on and it. Neither will the grand jury. You would have to walk a long mile to find a better candidate for an unmarked plot in the prison graveyard. Look, oh, look at the cool smug look. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Such a douche. I feel really bad. I do feel really bad because obviously, I mean, I don't think, obviously, I mean, neither of them did it. I mean, let's just be for real here. We have a Black Dahlia for a reason. Oh, four stars, whatever. <laughs> Grosvenor McCaffrey can write a tell-all memoir from his cell on death row. Yay. Cool shit. Bro. Um. Yeah, alright. Next case. Let's see where this Black Dahlia conspiracy takes us now. Saving. We have lost most of Shaughnessy and Dunn's squad. It's gunny is dead. First platoon is in worse shape. That medic is either crazy or the bravest man alive. Now we rally with the first. The try for the Naboos. It's here to the left. To the right, it goes right through a pass with two Naboos and infilate. Mate, we can lose that everyone. Shit to Lieutenant. Get back off this fucking bridge. They'll start walking the mortars back to their own positions. We only have I'm minutes. I'm in charge here, Sergeant. Get your men off the bridge, Lieutenant. What's your unit, Sergeant? We don't have time for this, Lieutenant. What's your unit, Sergeant? My company, 22nd Marines, Lieutenant. And we just saved your ass by boarding the river. My orders are to reconnoiter the... I think that point is now moot. You have ten men left. My orders are to save what's left. Move out! Too warmongering, Jesus. The quarter moon murders. Oh my. Oh my. Oh boy. Well done, lads. You did well with the summer's case. Thanks. Oh, no thanks to you, bitch. A new letter today. Do you mind if I take a look, Ray? Go right ahead. They've both been rinsed in gasoline like the previous letter, so I can't lift a print. Smart. So you're still out there. It's obvious. Hmm. I was married by a judge. All right. That's gonna do it for me here. Uh, stay Fuck tuned you. for more, and we'll continue this mystery as Cole looks very concentrated and stumped. I swear, this town is going That's right, to Cole. Hell. Keep thinking about it. Well, you're not sure? Hmm. This is really stumping you, isn't it? All right. Anyway, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more.